What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about the playlist update we received today in Modern Warfare 3. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. So today we got an update for some new modes and some new maps being added into Modern Warfare 3. Now these maps aren't brand new. They were some of the maps that we had last year in Modern Warfare 2. But from everything I've heard so far, they play really well with the movement in the game. Uh, of course, I just got off work not long ago, so I've not had a chance yet to play these maps. I'm going to play them a little later here tonight. But I've been hearing a lot of good things about these maps. So what we have available to us uh, as of, you know, today's Thursday, November the 16th playlist update, they added the Modern Warfare 2 Mosh Pit and a new playlist featuring maps and modes from last year's game. Of course, players can enjoy 6v6 matches on uh, four of the maps, Farm 18, uh, Crown Raceway, Mercado, and Shoot House. And I'm sure a lot of people will be really excited to see those maps, especially Shoot House, in this playlist. Um, now, the other thing they did add was a Terminal 24-7 playlist and uh, one that's kind of interesting. The experimental playlist is live today, but it says outlines are enabled. So this is going to mean that players will have outlines around them. And I'm sure this is for something to test more player visibility because there's still been complaints of player visibility, even though it is a lot better, in my opinion, than it was in the beta. Player visibility is still a, bit, a little bit rough uh, at times it's it on some maps and at some angles it's hard to kind of see players they still blend in i'm not sure that it not mentioned how long this playlist update is going to be out i'm sure terminal 24 7 and the uh, experimental playlist will probably change next week but when it comes to the mw2 maps being in there the mosh pit i'm not sure if this is going to be something they add into the game take out add in take out or if this is going to end up being a permanent playlist or a farm 18 Raceway, Mercado, and Shoot House are going to be just added into the 16 maps we already have available. So these eventually may just be added into the game. And we eventually may see the majority of the MW2 maps from last year. There's been a lot of rumor of how many maps are going to end up in the game by the end of the life cycle, uh, you know, the end of next year before the new Call of Duty comes out. We could have a lot of uh, maps available to us, which would be a really good thing in my opinion. But leave me a comment. Let me know if you've played, you know, the new a 6v6 mosh pit on some of these old maps. Like I said, I've been hearing really good things about it. Let me know if you've been playing Terminal 24-7 or if you've been in the experimental playlist. And of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.